Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, as you can probably tell from the title just above, is how to root the Galaxy S3. So I recently purchased an iPhone 5, which was yesterday in fact, which should be here tomorrow. Um, but I am going to be keeping one of my Android phones. So the phone I'm going to be keeping will be the S3. And the phone I'm actually going to be getting rid of is going to be the Note 2. Uh, but you don't care about that, you just want to know how to root your Galaxy device. So let's get on with it. Okay, so let me just say first off, this is the stock Jelly Bean ROM uh, for the Galaxy S3, as you can see here, 4.1.1. Nothing dodgy going on here. This is all stock out of the box. So what we need to do is actually put this into download mode. So what we're going to do is going to hold down the down volume, the power, and also the home button. Now, if you keep holding these, you'll see that the volume comes up and also it does take a screenshot as well. But if you give it a few more seconds, the device will power off. And in a second, we can let go, as you can see here. Now, all we have to do here is pass the volume up to continue, and then we are in download mode, ready to get this thing rooted. Okay, so once the phone is in download mode, you now need to go to a Windows PC and get some files. So the files are gonna be the actual tar file that we're gonna use to root the S3, as you can see here. And then the application we're gonna use to root the device will be Odin. Now, I've got that here. This is version 3.0.4. Uh, so we're going to go in here, I'm going to open this with administrator privileges and in a second it will open up. So the next step is to plug the device into the PC via the cable. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the ID com will light up. That is a good sign. Um, so you need that to get this to be rooted. Uh, yours may have a different number. Once you've actually done that, we now need to browse for the, the files that we downloaded earlier. I'm just going to go back a couple of folders and into the Galaxy S3 root files. And here you'll see the tar file, I'm going to select that. And we are pretty much good to go. I haven't changed any of the other settings. We just need to click on the start button and off it goes. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it does give you messages of what it's actually doing. And you can see the top left hand corner, it's now said pass. And that is it basically rooted. It's now going to go on the device as you can see and do its thing. Uh, I tend to leave the cable in towards the end just in case. And in a second the phone will reboot. Okay, so that's the phone rebooting now. You can see the Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 branding. I'm going to remove the cable because we don't need that now. It's now fully a rooted device. Uh, you can see here the Samsung logo as well. That's going to sit there for a couple of seconds and then we will be presented with Android. So once we get there in a second, any second, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock and I'm going to go into my apps and we will see two new applications here now. So one of them is going to be Super SU and the other one is Clockwork Mod. So if we go into Clockwork Mod, uh, in a second it's now going to ask us for root permissions. This is the whole point of what we're trying to do is get root permissions on the device. Um, so in a second, if we just give it two more seconds, it should be there. And here we go. So we've got Grant or Deny. I'm going to click a Grant and it will say it is successful. So that is the phone now fully rooted. So now we can install custom ROMs, we can install more applications and tweaks and all of that good stuff on Android. So I just want to thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button just below. And as always, I will catch you all in the next one.